Okay, welcome to Freehand Ellipses. Um, on here I have a bunch of light ellipses. I don't know if you can see them that I've drawn. And um, the way that you draw a freehand ellipse is really from the shoulder. Uh, I'm not sitting here with my hand resting on it trying to do an ellipse like this. I could. Um, but I'm, I'm really just using the whole swing of my arm. Uh, I'm standing up and I'm, I'm using my whole shoulder to really get a swing back and forth. And I only do it like eight times. Uh, you can try horizontal, you can try vertical. Um, if you do it more than eight times where you get it really dark and you start to be, it starts to be not useful. Uh, what I'm trying to do is get a consensus through all these lines and see within it the perfect ellipse just sitting there from the weaving of all those lines. So again, it comes from the shoulder. You can try, try thin, more oblique ones, uh, broader ones, which tend to be a little more difficult. Uh, but it's just a swing back and forth, trying to get that nice parabolic curve. So once you've done that, um, then it's time to get uh, pull a an ellipse out of it um, that's more perfect. You can start by trying to identify a major and minor axis, um, which is like splitting the difference. Sometimes a little earlier in the game to do that because you're not even sure exactly where your ellipse is. So um, I'm going to actually try to dial this in. And what you're doing is I tend to rotate the pad. And I'm just trying to create a sense of symmetry and continuity so that the ellipse is inflated um, equally in all ways. Now right now you can see this is kind of coming up more here and that's a shallow dive so I need to change that up, make that a little bit deeper. I'm just going to affect everything down the line. And then trying to keep that sense of symmetry so it's the same on the other side. Now right now this one's looking pointier than this one right here. I'm liking the continuity of that, so I'm going to change this up a little bit and fatten that just a little bit. And then once you feel like you've got it, then you can seal the deal more and commit to it. And when you commit, you don't want to lose what you've worked so hard to. You really want to keep that contiguous line going. Um, but that's a fairly okay ellipse. If I split it down the middle, the minor axis, it's approximately in the middle. You want to have a sense that these four quadrants are all equal um, in terms of how the shape is, how the volume, um, that's the concept. Um, so that is your basic strategy. The, the big one, is, the first step is to do the basic uh, general ellipse shape no more than eight times. Uh, the second is to find that ellipse within there, ro rotating your pad as you do it. Uh, the next phase after that is to refine that and make judgment calls about where the asymmetries are and how to uh, eliminate them. And then the next step is to really commit um, and check it with your uh, major and minor axis like that. This one, for instance, if I split it down the middle, it's not doing too bad, but it needs to, to resolve the symmetry here, here a little bit. Get a little fatter this way. And this is just a 
not only just about ellipses, but just holding you accountable to precision and training your eye to be able to see these things. There's a very zen-like thing in terms of how to do ellipses. It's, you, you could just do them night and day. You know, it's like Tai Chi or something, or meditation. The sublime pursuit of ellipses. Okay.